Here's what I want to do. Let's, let's go and turn to Revelation 11, verse 9. Revelation 11, 9. Here's what it says. And the peoples, literally by Hebrew idiom, some of the peoples. you got to keep that in mind. And the peoples and tribes and tongues and nations look upon their corpse, singular again, three days and a half, and do not suffer their corpses, back to plural, to be put into a tomb. Now let's go to Revelation 11.10. Revelation 11.10. And they that dwell on the earth, the earth dwells, rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Now, what you have to remember here about the older commentaries is that the older commentators might have felt the difficulty in understanding how the whole earth could rejoice at an event happening at Jerusalem. But that's not the case today. Back on point. Revelation 11, 11. Revelation 11, 11. Here we go. And after three days and a half, the breath of life, or life spirit, from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon those who beheld them. The two witnesses are raised from the dead by the power of God. And we can see that power elsewhere in Scripture. Genesis 2.7, Job 33.4, and then take a look even at Ezekiel 37.10. The rejoicing, though, is soon turned into fear, great fear. Their Lord was raised to life in Jerusalem after three days, and the two witnesses also after a somewhat similar period. Like him, as well, they ascend up into heaven. But unlike him, their ascension follows immediately on their resurrection, while the Lord's didn't. Now, Revelation 11.12. Moving on, Revelation 11.12. And they heard a loud voice out of heaven saying to them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in the cloud. And for a comparison, check out Acts 1.9. And their enemies beheld them. The word they hear is with power, for immediately they ascend and are forever delivered out of the hand of their enemies. Their death, resurrection, and ascension are all literal. Now listen carefully. Listen carefully. This shows that the words first resurrection in Revelation 20 refers to the contrast between that, the first resurrection, and the second. It is the first, the form of those two, and not the first that ever took place. Okay, well, I want you guys to be clear on that. Nor is this the only ascension. The body of Christ shall have ascended long before these judgment scenes commence, and during those times, we have the ascension of the great multitude of Revelation 7 and the 144,000 of Revelation 15, besides that of the two witnesses shown here. The great fear of their enemies is completely justified, for judgment speedily follows, and the death of the Lord's two witnesses is avenged. Let's turn to Revelation 11:13. And in that same hour, there was a great earthquake, and a tenth part of the city fell, meaning of the great city mentioned before, Jerusalem. And there were killed in the earthquake 7,000 men, and the rest became affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. How about that? Now, of course, this giving glory to God is not equivalent to praising or blessing God. It is extorted. Not by penitence, but by terror. The idiom is, is very well known. Now let's, you, let's see, let's see uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 15 as an example, where those referred to in the words glorified of all soon attempted to take the life of the Lord Jesus in Luke 4, 29. The context here clearly shows the sense in which this is to be taken. God is said to be glorified when his power is acknowledged in an emergency, just as the uh, magicians said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God, 
in Exodus 8, 19. And just as the ungodly admit the same thing every day, so do the demons acknowledge the Lord Jesus and confess his deity. Here it is only the God of heaven who is acknowledged, not a covenant God, Jehovah, known and loved. Now take note of this. Only a God at a distance, unknown and feared. Now, we have already spoken of the title God of Heaven in our previous videos and its significance as occurring only here and in Revelation 16, 11. So, with that, we have come to the end of the sixth trumpet or second blow.